What do you want? <laughs> what are you saying? So I'm saying Nikki tomorrow. Bonin. New girl. The new girl. Yes. 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 What did you say? Bonin. That's a surname. Oh. Bonin. Well, just I have an egg stack that I'm very proud of. An egg stack? Correct. Thank you. It's an interesting looking mug. Oh, do you want a mug? That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> are we recording? Right. Yes. The show is always live. <clears throat> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Episode number two. Ooh. We are on. This guy is. This guy just Let me reintroduce crazy. us. Who do you think of podcaster? <laughs> uh, MC? Wow. Uh, I'm just trying to find those questions. He's an all rounder. He's like the technician and. You're the technician and the editor. Bro, G I'm is the I'm main. A, I'm the literally the, posting the, video the, of you being the technician setting up. <laughs> The, the technician things. I'm just ready starting my phone because I can't see videos. That Did you get a new phone? No. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Did you get a new no, phone? No, he needs a new phone. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. I do. I need better quality videos. No, you need videos need to work. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, get so many videos. I can't open them. Bro, it's 2021. How can you not open a video on your phone? It doesn't let me. Instagram. Look, look, show me. It just says right. loading. I just, right. I just posted phone. some videos. Let's have a look. No, no, no. Videos that we talk to each other on the chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm trying to find these questions. I'm going back in my thingy jig. In my history. Yeah. Um, Do I stick around? Yeah. I pulled it up just before. Mm. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is me going to the wrong house for the podcast. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> just not at the mirror. I tried. Just normal. I was actually just fine normal. at the wrong house. <laughs> 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 you were. I was I mean, like, yes, I'm going to be on time. And I'm like, there was this white car pulling into your driveway. I'm like... Was it a four-wheel drive? No, no, no. I'm like, that's not... Was it my neighbor's? G's car. And then I'm turning around I'm like... <laughs> the, no G's car? car is here. No, like, these fuckers went to Macca's without me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where are you guys? No. Z's, Z's died in, so he can't be... Yeah. He couldn't have gone there. Third week. Nice. Yeah. It's nice. going really well. How's it going? Like Very good. That's gone. Do you need Calgeron? Did, he, did you know uh, he's dying? No. I'm well, roughly I'm roughly on about three thousand. So <laughs> <laughs> So five serves of protein, uh, four serves of carbs, and I think we're on four servings You're of You're eating five fats. meals a day. Uh, no, I'm I'm yeah, yes. Because I'm having two protein checks. So I'm two protein three solid, two liquid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Three solid, two liquid. Um, but also have bananas and things like that. Too. Yum. Fillers. So, Fillers. Fillers. Yeah. Snacks. So with my protein shake, I will have my carbs, which is the bananas. Yeah. So. Okay. Having carb- you're having carbs with the rest of the meals? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Four servings of carbs. Sorry. Yeah. And how's your appetite? It's going good. I was starving last night though. Yeah. I was, I don't know why I was hungry last night. That's why I woke up at like two, one o'clock or something, like 2 a.m. or like 1 a.m. I just couldn't go back to sleep. I'm, like, I'm so hungry. I'm, like, I'm going to message JC. Let's go back. Let's go back. Wow. <laughs> so shameful. Pretty sure you said you're on a diet. <laughs> I am. All right. All right. Go to half. Honest, que- honest question. How many times have you cheated on your diet in the last three weeks? Honest. Uh, honest. Uh, once. Oh, once. Once. Yeah, I have got a caramel slice. What's with you and caramel slices? I, f- I love caramel slices. And then slices. they're from fucking Coles Express. <laughs> I don't get it. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> exactly. You don't get it. it. <laughs> oh, God, slices. I don't know. I love caramel slices. You know what it is? It's probably like, <laughs> you finish work, tired, and now it's like, yeah. you've done it so often, it's just habit now. Yes. And that's what I realized on the break. Weird. You reckon? What else do you crave? Break. That's it. I love that's caramel it. slices. Yeah. When I was oh. like, dieting, yeah. bodybuilding, I used to wake up in the middle of the night, grab a piece of cheese and a handful of almonds, and like, <sighs> That's, that was my cheats. Fats. Why? Why fats? Well, because I was on like a high carb. I have a, I have a question. What sort yeah. of cheese? <laughs> Are we talking like Kraft Singles just cheese? A, no, just like it was a block. It was literally a block. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I need to ask more questions. <laughs> um, I need to ask more questions. Where were you keeping the block of cheese? 
<laughs> in the fridge. In his oh, drawer. Yeah, in his like, drawer. Is, 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 <laughs> it's under the pillow. <laughs> I have a mini bar <laughs> fridge next to my bed to make life well, you easier. Had a spin, you had, had a spin bike. I had a spin bike on one side, a mini bar fridge on the yeah, other. Yeah, smart. <laughs> there was a mini bar fridge. No, one, one, <laughs> <laughs> no it was weird. Yeah. Like, I craved, obviously I craved fats. Yeah, um, interesting. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because Fats. yeah, because when, when I was dying, like I mm. did it extreme and wrong. I was self-educated, so I was living yeah. off literally steamed chicken, yeah, and flaxseed oil for the last like eight to ten I weeks of prep. Mean, and then you were doing like, two hours of fucking cardio. <laughs> yeah, I was doing I was man. doing twenty minutes of hit in the morning yeah. on a stepper, <laughs> and I was doing forty-five minutes to an hour before I go to bed. Wow! On the spin bike next to my bed. But isn't that funny? Look back, how crazy. Like you did things, dude. Like, my know? schedule was fucked. I'd be up at four a.m. Yeah. Put the steamer on. Yeah. I had like big containers of pre-cut chicken breast into one one point five kilos. I think it was or one kilo. I can't remember. Chuck it in the steamer. Go back to bed for an hour. Wake up when it's ready. Divide it into equal 200, 250 gram containers. Bottle of flaxseed oil, and that would go into my six pack bag. <laughs> and every three hours. With water. Wow. We was like, it was so much harder back in the day. I'm such a, like you just talk about that, like, could you do that again now? Fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> I think about the shit that I used to do and I'm like, I could, I did, I was so much tougher back in the day. What's wrong with you now? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm such a soft today. <laughs> I'm so soft. What other dumb shit have you done? We used to do tuna and Pepsi Max uh, protein shakes in what? blenders. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not a thing. <laughs> yes, it is. What do you mean? What's his name? Um, what's the power lifter? Blaine? Summer. Blaine? Yeah. Blaine yeah. Summer. So yeah. he does the steak He does one. the shakes. Yeah. Oh. So we used to do tuna with Pepsi Max. It's actually not bad in a blender. Guys, don't try it. <laughs> you can try it. It's safe. <laughs> tuna and spring water. Uh, okay, that's the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tuna, tuna oil. No, tuna, no, tuna, tuna and spring water. <laughs> Sweet tuna chili. and spring water. Because... <laughs> Yeah, because everything else had cal- extra calories, oh right? God. How much tuna were you That's putting crazy. in one shake? Like 180 grams. That's one big, one big can. Yeah, so 180 grams of tuna, yeah. like a can of Pepsi Max, and half a scoop of protein or one scoop of protein, depending what was around. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> That's awesome. That's, not, That's like 50 uh, grams of protein per. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Well. Wow. I haven't, well, t- I haven't touched tuna since. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonder why. Did you ever have to do any like weight cuts for boxing? Yeah, all the time. Did you? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> why do you think, why, why, why do you think I have uh, a good relationship <laughs> with uh, food right now? <laughs> with sweets as well? Yeah. What sort of crazy weight cuts were you doing? Um, so my last fight in Adelaide, I had to drop six kilos. In what time frame? Uh, I think it was like four days. It was four it's days. It's really hot in here now that we're talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it was about it was about six kilos in about four days, and I, and I was seventeen. So, like, dieting back then was um, Turkish coffee, and then that's it. Where are we? <laughs> just I mean, just up of caffeine and just epidrine. Up, yep, just fuel up of caffeine, <laughs> and um, and then you just go on your runs. You come back home. You. Uh, what was it? I think we, it was tuna and dry food. There's a lot of dry food yeah, for some reason. Yeah, crackers and stuff like that. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, and easily digestible. Was, That's probably what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And no, no water. You just cut water off, like, like the last day. But the worst thing about the amateurs, Wayne. Oh fuck me. So, how do you fuel up in two hours? You can't really. Sugar. It's, it's got to be sugar and liquid. Exactly. It's be liquid. Carbs. And that's what it was. So yeah. one of my boxing coaches gave me just lollies. Yeah. He was giving me like um, uh, sour lollies. He was giving me sour lollies. Yeah. Like those yeah. old school culling methods are ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It was just Turkish coffee and <laughs> just dry food, um, tuna. Was it anything? Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> the guy that was kind of guiding me along in my comp prep. <laughs> guiding. Laughing. Laughing at you. Let's let's kill this kid. Yeah. <laughs> Did a <I> record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it was one, it's like one of those things that like you hear a mate did, the passive gets passed on to another mate that he read about somewhere else. So it just gets passed down the line. So for the carb up, um, it was eight sushi rolls. What? Hey, what do you mean carb up? When you carb up for his comp? For carb up. For, so like yeah. you deplete and yeah. then you carb up. 
Okay. Right. Yeah. This is comp day. This is or comp This week. is comp night into day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this, yeah, is yeah, a, yeah. So this yeah. was in the morning. There's no chance. But he was going to use the <laughs> thing back to that. But one interesting thing that. So where did you get the sushi from? <laughs> did you go to sushi sushi? It's all ten rolls. I had to JJ sushi in Carnegie. That's the best, <laughs> man. JJ. There's so much MSG in there. <laughs> so much. It tastes so chemical. It's so good though. <laughs> <laughs> And the Wait, one was the person who introduced you to this place, Greg? <laughs> Greg was like, no. Was Greg who introduced you to JJ's? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, he shot her name. Yeah, name Remain nameless, nameless. nameless. And one thing that was like, I was freaking out about, he told me to have a Sayalis before I went on the stage for blood flow. Yeah. Right? But you you <laughs> don't have enough water <laughs> to actually for that to work well. Exactly. Um, I was more worried about getting erection on stage. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <laughs> I actually don't recall the time on stage. Yeah. No. Oh, really? Because all the blood was in your <laughs> fucking drawers. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. And was, quarter it was, turn. It was a strange it was experience. <laughs> it was a strange experience. But some, something did happen. Like, people were saying, they were watching it, they said that I literally transformed during the posing. <laughs> so they're like, that's when I peaked. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the feedback give you that the uh, posing was a little bit too rigid? No, no. The, po- the posing routine was very, like... Mustachy Ravy. I'm not oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got it somewhere on, on no, YouTube or something. No, I think no, we should it's not on YouTube. YouTube. It's somewhere on stage somewhere. We'll put that up. Yeah, we'll cut it in once we learn. <laughs> the technician will edit it. Oh, 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 oh. The, um, the, the... Tiesto, I'll dodge your four strings. <laughs> on the closing <laughs> <tag. laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. How many fist bumps did you throw? <laughs> my, my, transitions. My, transitions. my calf actually cramped on one of the turns. I was like... <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Anyway, so yeah, that's my yeah. dining stories. That's good stories. <laughs> did you, did I, you I don't have, have to... Wake to nah, I had to... I, t- <laughs> I never had to wake up, lol. Um, <laughs> because my weight kept going the other way. So my coach just kind of gave up. I told you this way, cut this is story was seven. <laughs> this is Fuck. one of the greatest stories I have ever heard in my life. Oh, so she's one and only white cut. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, no. Uh, this oh, is so tell them. really, really quickly, my weightlifting coach, right? Um, I was tra- train I was training really hard for a couple of years and then my first weight weightlifting comp was as a seventy seven. And then I did a couple of comps at 77. Were you like six years old? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. I was 11. <laughs> that's close. That was close. Yeah, yeah. That was close. I was 11, right? And my coach was literally like five foot tall, Bulgarian dude. Uh, he was actually a gold, an Olympic gold medalist, so he was <laughs> legit. Anyway, so like I think that he had gone away for co- coaching or something like that. But I remember there was a period of time where like I didn't see him for a bit. Like away for coaching or like I don't know. away like I think maybe away people go on holidays yeah, these maybe, days. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so left the country now, so I can't get in that much trouble. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so anyway, so like I did one, I did a couple comps at seventy seven. Then I, I'm sure the next weight class up was eighty two, and then I did a wake, I uh, did a comp at eighty two, and then he went away for a while, and then I did like a really big like off season training, and then. Uh, he came back I can't remember exactly the circumstances this is all at Hawthorne as well he's 110 <laughs> bro <laughs> <laughs> so Sammy's like oh we, we, we're going to do this competition no problem and then we're gonna go hi <laughs> hi alright bye man <laughs> no, no no we've moved it he's blocking the neighbours <laughs> it's okay <laughs> just send them in here <laughs> <laughs> so we uh bye ma see you later <laughs> goodbye uh so he um he came back and he's like oh we're going to do this competition um let's get ready you've done the off season great like he was smashing me in my off season like <laughs> fuck it was one of those things where we were, like I was just saying before we used to be so, uh, well we used to be so much harder mm. and just like less fucks given we could just do shit like for two hours cardio 
<laughs> tuna, and pe- tuna and Pepsi Max shakes. But things didn't hurt back then. No, the it's body did not so hurt. Bro, I remember my program. It was on a yellow <laughs> cardboard piece of cardboard bo- piece of I don't know what the fuck it was. It was paid for banana it. box, bro. Man. <laughs> With the and wax on it, bro. It was like the full length of the fucking page, and that was a week, and everything was like five by ten, four by twelve, everything, wow. yeah. everything. So he's um, we're going to do this competition. We we should probably go check your weight. And we go check the weight. You, know, you go check the weight, right? And I'm like, okay, cool, no problem. I'm t- by this time. I'm 12 years old I'm like mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and then I've got on the scale and he's looked and he's looked beh- behind me like to, around the front of the scale to see the number of Martin Leach who's the um the head the head coach of the Australian Olympic teams looking over the scale too and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then, then Sebi goes I just remember I'm just standing there like looking at the roof like oh and I have no really sort of bearing of like what the weight's gonna what impact this is gonna have so I committed as the 82 and Sebi goes Oh, <laughs> you super heavyweight <laughs> in one year. No, 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 no. It would have been fucking three months. It's like, whoa, oh, you man. super heavyweight now. <laughs> so what's super heavyweight in weightlifting? One hundred five plus mm. back then. Is it changed? Is it still one hundred five plus? Uh, I think it's one hundred nine plus. So you put on thirty kilos yeah. in less than a year. Yeah. yeah. How? Don't know. I just smash it's, training, uh, yeah. but like I would smash training, and then I would like I would binge eat because like I would go to school and be at school all day, and like I might have like a little bit like a sandwich or something. Yeah. But like my mates, who are still my mates today, and I say that they're mates, they bullied me for the, for the snacks and food that I had, so I had nothing but chewing gum, <laughs> chewing gum and water. Sometimes I would get a wow. sandwich, but then I would come home after school and I'd literally eat like. <laughs> Fuck, I, I like not not an exaggeration. I reckon I probably ate like I don't know, fucking twelve to fifteen sandwiches <laughs> and orange juice. I and believe just that. Smashed it right, and then wow. eat dinner a couple of hours yeah, later. Yeah. But also keep like moving around and things yeah. like that. Oh, so yeah. like that's <laughs> probably the only things that you knew how to prep back then. <laughs> Eleven yeah. year old, yeah. you're eating snacks. Mm. <laughs> I, I learned how to make nachos <laughs> <laughs> in the microwave. How do you make nachos in the microwave? So it was like. Three to four times a week, it would be a packet of Doritos. Wait, wait. Important, important. What sort of Doritos? The cheese nacho Cheese ones. Supreme, nacho cheese. Supreme, supreme, sorry, supreme nacho supreme cheese, yeah. The red packet. The red packet, yeah. yeah. So it would be that. Then I'd layer it with shredded cheese. Don't ask which one. The yellow one. What type? This guy. He just lays craft signals. <laughs> he just, he puts just, a block on the pillow. No, but, the under 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 the pillar. Yeah, no, but some more no, cheese. this is the thing. Everything was... Full packets. So it wasn't like just a little yeah, bit of cheese. Yeah, it was like yeah. the whole packet of Doritos. The yeah, whole packet of yeah, cheese. I yeah. think it was like 300 grams. But that carries over into our, into our adult. A, <laughs> a, a, a small tub of sour cream. Yeah, the whole thing, yeah. The, the whole thing of mild salsa. And then that's, more cheese on top. It's making me hungry. Yeah, right? <laughs> stomach's rumbling, right? Put it in the microwave for a yeah, couple of minutes. Yeah. Hey, couple that's of it, minutes. that's it. <laughs> Well, six to eight minutes until the cheese literally melts, and then you just pick <laughs> yeah, away at it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, and well. if that was like leftover chicken or something mm. like that, you mm. sprinkle that on top. Oh, that would be sick. nice. Yeah, that would be good. But like, imagine the calories. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Three, four calories. times a week. Like, if <laughs> it'd be interesting to work it out. That would be like two and a half thousand. Easy. Oh, easy. Easy. <laughs> But again, like in high school, in school, yeah. you don't eat. You have. Yeah. You hardly have. Like you have a breakfast in the morning. Your mum will pack you. Sandwich, which you usually trade in to like an Aussie kid, <laughs> and you get his barbecue shapes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zara's like, take my, a- Zara's like, take my Avon. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Nobody touched my Avon, bro. <laughs> yeah, so it was that. It was like a little yeah. like, f- like those little chips. What they call like fun size or whatever it was. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the like shapes, a like yeah. a prima drink or oh, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was lunch. And then you come home and parents are at work and you're like yeah. smashing like food. Smashing yeah. whatever. Yeah. I remember having um, like sandwiches, but my mom put capsicum and tomatoes in them. Oh, amazing. <laughs> well, Avo? T- uh, <laughs> with Avo. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a fan Ham. of Avo. Oh man, it was spicy. amazing. It was amazing. You have like two or three of those. It's you not, can get I'm just different. a pussy. I just oh, no, like you can get different. Food. You can get different. You thought the sweet chili was spicy, so yeah. that was not spicy. That wasn't spicy. 
Yes, correct. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. The, sh- the shits after were very spicy. <laughs> the, chi- the chili part makes it sound spicy. Yeah. It's like a The sweet From the Avon. Yeah. yeah, as a kid. Did you eat a lot of that same sort of similar food? Yeah, it'd be yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lots of stews, meat, potatoes, yeah. pastas, that yeah. sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah. It was. It was. Oh. <sighs> I remember, I remember I went through a phase when um, when I was boxing because I thought I was cool, yeah? I thought I was cool. You're still cool. You are cool. What you ah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> um, where I'll get up at like, I'll get up at like two, three o'clock in the morning and I'll do my morning run. Oh, I remember you telling me yeah. to walk. Yeah. And I was thinking about that this morning when we went for a walk and I'm like, oh man, my shoulder's sore, my cure was a bit sore, you know? And I was thinking back then, I'm like, man, like I used to run, like, I, used to, I used to run a lot. Okay, because in 2010, I ran a marathon. So even prior to that, I, was, I used to run a lot. Mm. And I remember getting up, like, you know, at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, going for my run, coming back home, going to bed, getting up, and then going to school. So I didn't have to get up earlier That's before crazy. school to do mm. my training. You got up on do- your own... Yeah, terms, like, and I did that for like I did that. Your for parents like a didn't year. have to drag you out of bed. Nah, nothing. nah. That's good. And I'm like, I don't know why I did that. Well, committed. You obviously had a goal yeah. in mind. Yeah. I don't know who was committed. Insomnia. <laughs> Insomnia. Oh, <no. laughs> stress. Stress. Egg, egg <laughs> management. <issues. laughs> Were you screaming yeah. at the top of your lungs yeah. running around? Like, ah! oh, I had to because I thought I was getting chased by ghosts and shit. <laughs> How old? Uh, I think I was like 15, 16, 17, around there. That's scary. Okay. Running yeah. at 2 o'clock at yeah. night around yeah. the and camp. Calm down. Too, yeah. yeah, man. Oh. And that's what, like, the same thing like, like what you were saying earlier. Like, like, like I feel like really fragile now yeah yeah like, yeah. like you know I'm just like oh, I used to push through a lot of stuff and now it's just like oh this hurts that hurts what doesn't you know and it's like oh I better back off a little bit you yeah. know as you, as you get older yeah. as you get older and like overcome injuries there becomes that fear factor so it's like yeah it's like risks to reward yeah well I really hurt my back last year in February yeah and it's like that's still I feel it plays heavy on my yeah. mind like today like I was snatching like 50 like, like 50 kilos and like, um, as soon as I like initiated the lift, I'm like, oh, my back. And I just let it go. Let the bar go. Let the bar go. Mm. And then I'm like, oh, I'll sit down for a little bit. And then I'm, like 30 seconds later, I just went out and attacked it a lot better. Mm. So yeah, that played, that played mm. pretty intensely today. I did. And I think, I think it started from when I was in the, when I woke up in the morning, going, oh, this hurts, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah. Injuries. Yeah. Worst injury for you? Ah, uh, the tricep for sure. Yeah, mm. but I think the scariest injury is probably the quad. When was the quad? I tore the quad in two thousand and nine. I had three twenty on my back, and then I went into the hole, and then I just remember like this ripping sound coming oh, from. It's like, like a zip. Oh. It's a zipper. It's like a zip, and wow. you feel it. It's like there's like a cluck, cluck, an cluck, insect cluck, under cluck. your skin, and it's just like. Yep. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I was literally in the hole, and I don't know if I stood up with it or the boys helped me up with it, but I just remember I racked it. And I just knew mm. straight away. I was like, "Fuck, I've torn my fucking quad." Like, oh my God, and I just I just remember like the blood just like draining out of me, like shock, just like, <sighs> "Holy crap, this is a major injury!" Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I think that's probably. I've, I mean, the rupture of the tricep and then, you know, some sublaxes of the shoulder from football. Yeah. Hyperextension from football. I've been pretty... I've been very lucky. Ankles? Very lucky. An- ankles. Ankles, like, you would have done a thousand ankles. Ankles, ankles, ankles was common. My ankles are the tennis balls now anyway. So. Yeah. So hooping, hooping would have rolled. So yeah. Did you ever have to tape up? I was never a fan of taping. I taped oh, post, I post-injury. Yeah. A lot of the boys did tape. I was never a fan of taping because I just felt restricted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like I've... I played like if mm. I do my ankle, I play. Yeah, I'd you play. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember one time I did my ankle, and um, they had no ice at the stadium, mm. and this was in Frankston. So of course it was. I'm sure, I'm sure they had ice. No, no, no. no, 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 no it was Okay, I get it. I get it. Um, so it was a pre- it was a preseason <laughs> practice match. There was no ice because the stadium was actually closed. So it happened like third quarter or something. So I set off. Then drove home. I got home and it literally looked like I had three tennis balls around my ankle. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And then it was gone. It's such a, like, mm. a bad yuck, like, yuck, vomity pain when you when you, when you go over. Oh. <laughs> but when you go over and, like, you're, 
lateral malleolus <laughs> hits that. Uh, <laughs> it's like, that's bad. That's bad. That's, that's bad. <laughs> but that's when usually you have like a bone avulsion or fracture or something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. My so. one was the wrist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, On the 170 clean. That one was. I remember that. What happened? Uh, I broke my wrist on 170 clean. But I remember that day really well. Because I was still a kid. So you broke it on the catch? On, on the catch. In, yeah. the, in the hole. At HQ or what? Yeah, H- HQ. Um, I, I was having a bad day. And I let my emotions take over. And then Armando's like, we got 165. Really? That sounds unlike you. I know. It's just, it's <laughs> Caught me off guard as well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, so out of your character. I know, right? Um, and then, uh, <laughs> this video is all they can tell day. you're lying. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I was like, yeah, I was having a bad day and I'm like, alright, we'll take 170. And then it's like, we'll go 165 first. And then um, I hit 165 um, like really comfortably. Mm. And then I said 170. And Amando's like, nah. I'm like, nah, nah, we got this. And then I convinced Amando to go 170. Which, uh, <laughs> and I broke my wrist. <laughs> Was it actually like a cracking, snapping noise? Um, I heard a, like a cracking, snapping sound. Oh. But I thought that would have been like... A wrist wrap or something. My wrist wrap, my knee sleeves or something like that. Or the belt. So I didn't think of anything of it. Um, and then Amando's like, alright, that's it. He goes, now we're going front squats. Did my front squats. I think I did like 152 for triples or something like that. Um, and then that night, I woke up at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning in pain. And that's when I knew something was wrong. Something was really so then I went to the doctor that morning and then they cast they, um, it. The cast. Yeah, they casted it up. So it was a, the proximal pole of the scaphoid was uh, fractured. So it was, it was broken. So. Fuck. And then how did you, I think what your worst injury would be the, the knee? ACL, MCL yeah. and med meniscus. So that was my, yeah. that was my That's the whole knee. But there was no one around me. So this is how I recall it. I drove in. I was about 20 kilos over my playing weight. <laughs> I took a jump stop and I went to elevate. And as I elevated, I distinct, like you, like you heard, I distinctively remember hearing three clicks. So I'm taking off and I'm hearing this click, click, click. All right. Man. And then I land and I fall to the ground and there's no one around me. Everyone's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, this oh, feels shit. wrong. No like, pain? Like, what do you mean wrong? Like, it was, my knee was locked. Oh. Like, I couldn't fully extend my knee. Yeah. There was no pain. It was just like, not, I'm like, I jarred it. I'm like, I yeah, jarred yeah. it. I'm like trying to click it. Like, you know how like when your joint feels yeah. off, you're like, click it and you like, keep going. Yeah. Like ankles, stuff like that. And I was like, no, no, jump off, jump off. So I jump off and I'm so sitting. You walked off? You're okay? Yeah, yeah, I walked off. I walked, I got up and I kind of limped off. I was very ginger about it. Um, and then I sat down and I'm like, all right, the adrenaline kind of wore off and I got up and I started jogging along the sideline and it felt okay. Yeah. Mm. It felt okay. I was jumping on the spot. It felt okay. Everything was fine. I wanted to get, jump back on. It was just a domestic game. The boys were like, no, 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 don't worry about it. It didn't blow up though. The knee didn't blow up. Oh, interesting. interesting. So I went home. And put ice on it, woke up the next morning. It was just, it was sore. It wasn't like yeah. debilitating. I've had worse pain yeah. before, like an ankle sprain yeah. would hurt more. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to try to train today. So I went to squat. Perfect. Right? I went, to, <laughs> no, no, I went to squat and I couldn't hit depth and I couldn't lock out at the top. So I went from a free weight bar yeah. to a Smith machine. Yeah. Felt the same. I'm like, all right, leg press. Leg press felt okay. Yeah. So I started lining up the leg press. Oh, no. <laughs> right? So I, was like, I worked up to about three, 350 for like sets of 10. Wow. No pain. Right? No pain. And I did this for about two, three weeks, yeah. hoping that it's going to stop locking. Yeah. I couldn't fully extend my yeah. quad. Yeah. Um, and I couldn't activate mm-hmm. my VM. Mm-hmm. And then I decided to actually go see a physio. So the physio is testing it. He was a young physio. She goes, I'm just going to get the head physio in to check something. <laughs> so they, did the, they did the ACL test and he's yeah. going, we're going to have to get you in for scans. Yeah. Like, why? It's like, oh, you kind of failed the ACL test, yeah. mate. I'm like, really? I've What's been the doing... anterior draw test? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, mate, I've been doing all this stuff. He's like, yeah, it's probably meniscus loose in there. Yeah. 
So I got booked into Olympic Park. I know it was a Friday night. I remember because it was I was the last appointment. It was dark. It was wintry. This was oh. like in March, April, about April, I think. Yeah. yeah. I was the last scan, so it was just me and the guy. Yeah. So he put me into this thing. He goes, "What music do you want to listen to? Because you can pick a song." This guy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> mate. I'm, I'm, I'm like. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, bro, bro, give me Tiesto now. Have you got the latest state of trance? <laughs> <laughs> so he put me into the tube. So I've gone in and out and he's sitting behind the glass and he's looking at it. And he comes out like 10 minutes later. And I'm like, well, he had this like really sad face mm. on. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong? He goes, I don't usually tell. I'll pass it on to the physio. I go, mate, you can tell me. He's a bad, he goes... Yep. It's so bad. He put his hand. He goes, "I'm oh, so sorry." Are you kidding me? I'm like, what is it? I'm like, is it ACL? He goes, "Yep," and medial meniscus and MCL. <laughs> I'm like, cool. I need Rico. He goes, "You need a full Rico." Fuck. I'm like, okay, let's rock and roll. Yeah. Like that's a career-ending injury yeah, usually, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, I already in my head, I'm like, you're never playing basketball again. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So that was uh, that. Yeah. All right. So Demir wins. Yeah. Demir wins. Demir wins. I win. I win. You do. <laughs> That's where I, I swapped from team sports to everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And as soon as he told me that, yeah. my first thought was, <laughs> you're going to get so small if you can't lift. <laughs> <laughs> you're still small. No. <laughs> I remember. So I, 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 I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> I <Like>, clearly. <laughs> I look small in this video. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, damn. Oh, that's why I'm wearing a jumper. <laughs> um, I remember, so I couldn't work. I couldn't yeah, PT yeah. my clients because the studio was upstairs. Oh. But I could drive... Where was this? This is in um, South Melbourne? South Melbourne. Yeah. You were in that gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was upstairs. But what I could do is go onto the bottom... Fl- I could go to the gym. So what I would do is with my crutches, load them up in the back of the car limp into the car, drive to Doherty's and walk around with my clutches training upper body. I see. I Lucky used to. Yeah. Lucky was there and he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, training, Do bro. something. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going like, yeah. <laughs> to get ready for it. i got that. summer days, bro. <laughs> summer days. <laughs> summer days. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. Wow. That was it. That was a worst wow. injury. All right, let's answer some questions. Questions yeah. and answers. Q&A with... The three of us. With three guys. Three guys. And one barbell. Do you remember little mm-hmm. barbell in mm-hmm. the my video? I, sp- I, um, I spoke to... Uh, barbell Rob. supply. I spoke to Rob. Yeah. Who's mm-hmm. Rob? Rob. The caricature. Oh, yes. Great. Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, do you? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. <laughs> Rob, bro. Yeah. Rob, the guy that's going to make the... From Queensland. Yeah. What? Sure. <laughs> Why'd you say yeah? Poor man. <laughs> I'm just saying it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Uh, Z, when are you planning to compete again? Are you planning to compete again? Well, yes. I am planning to In compete. In ollie lifting or powerlifting? Uh, I'll probably go back into ollie lifting. Uh, I have some... Goals I want to hit, um, and maybe looking at the end of this year or the middle of next year, uh, 2022, depending on how my training goes. And what are those goals? Oh, the goals. Come on, get them out there. You know how this works. You've been uh, put the goals out there. Well, I would, I would like to hit a 145 snatch and 170 clean and jerk. Okay, nice, cool. That's so hard. <coughs> That's so hard. Yes. <laughs> that is very hard. <laughs> it is very How far hard. off are you from that now for those people that are not into weightlifting? Very far away. <laughs> like, is it achievable by the end of the year? Uh, not by the end of the year, but by the mid next year, yes. Okay, okay. so 12 month goal. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. cool. yeah. But competing, maybe the end of the year. Yeah. Okay. Demir? Um, I've got to ask my coach. Um, I think we're aiming for another comp end of the year, so that would either be Melbourne Cup or maybe even Pro Raw if we got an invite, I'm assuming. I don't know what's going to happen with Pro Raw, yeah. to be honest. But yeah, it'll be... Um, we might end up doing the same comp. Well, can't do that. 
Who's going to hype me up? We've done that hey. once, and that didn't work hey. out what do for you mean? me. That was most well. It was probably both our shittest comps. Last pro roll we did. Oh yeah, yeah fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just put it. Z's like, gonna, hand, gonna, Z's hand. gonna handle us. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Done. Uh, so uh, your we tell your what's your goal in powerlifting? My goal is to total a thousand before my fortieth birthday. Okay. Mm. Which is twenty first of February twenty twenty five. Awesome. So it's going to be close. <laughs> is that right? Is that good maths? I don't, I don't, can never remember how old you are. Yeah. I'm 38. Okay. So I turn 39 next year. So that's 23. Yeah. 2020. So 20, 20, 2024. Okay. Okay. We don't have much time. <laughs> okay. We have plenty of time. Okay. Then would you, would you be upset if you were six months behind that goal? No. Okay. No. So the year off my 40th. Yeah. yeah. Because a lot of people get really tied up with that. It doesn't have to be an exact date. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And people get really tied up with their goals and then they like, oh, I haven't achieved it and then they quit. But little did they know that they're in How a few months. How close they've come. Yeah. But you got to think about like, how many people have t- totaled a thousand in Australia? No. Not many. Mm. Right? Many. And I reckon we're what, about four, 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 four five comps away? Mm. No. Less. I think we're about. Let's let's allow allow margin for error. Yeah, three three or four comps. Okay. So it's about eighteen to twenty four months, mm. give or take. Let's say three or four hard training cycles. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Cool, cool. Uh, what, goal, what's that going to look like in the breakdown? That's Coach? a really good question. I reckon it'll end up being. I'm going to get my calculator out. Oh yeah. What's that going to look like? It'd be like 382... It'll be like 382, 40, 250, 360, 370, something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Quick maths. Just big boy titles, bro. That is huge. That is huge. The Luke Polly. What's that? The OG. He's the OG. He's an OG. Yeah. Because he totaled his first thousand at forty something big dogs. Yeah. Wow. The second one or the first one? I think it was. Wasn't the first one. Mm. I think it was the third one. The bro. third one. Okay. Because the the second one he didn't he went high nine hundreds. Um, and then the third one is the one he did a thousand, and I wasn't competing. It would have been. Would have been the, the, been the third side, side, yeah. To the yeah. side of the stage. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, my goals is to um, stop underachieving and go 1100 and then make a decision after that. Um, I am kind of talking to Max about planning for early next year for a uh, mini peak mm-hmm. with just a belt next year. Nice. Yeah. Because I really want to have a crack at um, uh, Don Ryan House squat record, which is... Bare knee one. Yeah. 420. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You got close. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm confident. Mm. Like I'm confident enough where I'm like it's not too scary. Mm. Yeah, your 400 was quick. That last 400 you did. Uh, 380. You mean? Didn't you squat a 400 Ben eight? No, that no? was Daniel. Okay, so 380 yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel really good now. So whatever. Yeah. But ultimately, like I should have gone in 1100 already in a, in a three of this. So it's but yeah. But tick that big that box mm. off. Things happen throughout our life. Yeah. Outside of our control. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would we ever open an OnlyFans? <laughs> I'll answer for everyone and say yes. <laughs> we might already have one. Uh, join our OnlyFans and Patreon account. Yes. <laughs> it is not three guys and one barbell. <laughs> it is three guys and one bagel. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's the modern version of the soggy biscuit yeah <laughs> do you know what the soggy biscuit is no really well, okay no. explain soggy biscuit quickly. no okay, I so don't want to know no you should know no, just it's for it's general okay. knowledge uh, it's good I general don't knowledge. think this is general knowledge this <laughs> is general we're knowledge. Going, no. we're still going to get taken off YouTube <laughs> <laughs> we're not because we're not going to get into the details of what soggy biscuit is thank god this, ne- <laughs> this next question what order you guys in the sandwich I feel like since I'm in the middle I get to be the meat <laughs> How you doing? All right. Um, 
ask Z who is his han- most handsome athlete is and why is it me, Glory Daisy? <laughs> well, it's not you, Glory. <laughs> <laughs> Glory Daisy. It's definitely not you. Uh, most handsome athlete? Hmm. Do I count? Because I'm your... You treat me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're always full of compliments so. when I take my shirt. <laughs> yeah, because you're so freaking huge. <laughs> you're so jacked. Why is it so ginormous was another question. Uh, not sure exactly what you're referencing, kind <laughs> sir. With it. Not a question. <laughs> a Genetics, requ- bruh. <laughs> <laughs> not a question. A request, though. Flop it out, big fella. I believe they're talking to... It's, there's no one directed it, so I'm going to say it's, it's a Demir. Name and shame. <laughs> Who wrote that? It's a bloke, isn't it? Of course yeah, it's of a bloke. Oh, Are you three low-key homo for each other? Yes. <laughs> What's your problem? Um, yeah, a little gay pride flag here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think having mentors for different aspects of your growth is beneficial? Yes. I say yes. Yeah. I say yes. <laughs> yeah. different, different parts, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. 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 You're not going to have, yeah. You need input. For, and, and look, they've got to be reliable sources too. You can't just have a bunch of mates in the corner that are just yes. cheering you up. Yeah. So but sometimes like, you do need that confidence boost as well. Yeah. Like yeah. at times. And I feel like it, I get a lot down to, from you guys as well. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get a lot from you guys. But when I just, well, I know that I'm not. I don't think to me is the type of just to blatantly say G up for just for the sake of G and you're on. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously yeah. No, yeah. It's got to be realistic. Yeah. Hmm. And it works in reverse too. Like if you get yeah. over you're like, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. If you were to um, name one of those mentors or influences, a, a, large, a big influence, doesn't have to be training, it could be anything related. Why well, do I have to go first? <laughs> I, can, I can go first uh, for me uh, my f- my first powerlifting coach yeah which will be remain remain nameless for the sake of keeping him safe <laughs> and keeping myself safe this is not the Bulgarian one this is a different one this is a different one yeah. this is the Russian one no, <laughs> no <it's not. laughs> um, I'm fortunate enough to have you as a mentor mm-hmm. in my corner and also GG is a good mentor mm-hmm. when he's around. Mm-hmm. He's been around for a while. He's got a lot of wisdom to share. He does. Yeah. Um, Alex Deccan is pretty good because he's been in the trenches. Underrated. Very yeah. underrated lifter. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Is he still Tom? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. He's loving it at the moment. Good. That's good. <clears throat> hmm. No one, no one in particular. Oh no, I've got, I've got a lot. Doesn't have to be lifting related. It could be no, life. I have a lot who's helped, who have helped me throughout my life. Like mm. you know, you, like both of you guys, I definitely look up to. Um, definitely E. Yeah. yeah, I have mm-hmm. to. That's what I'm <laughs> <still> next. <laughs> e. Um, e. Yeah. Um, also Mundo, mm. like Max and Marcos as well. Yeah. Um, like all, like all my boxing trainers. Like Cal, Christian, like they all formed who I am today. Yeah. Uh, especially my parents as well. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Parents is given, yeah. I think, for yeah. Yeah. most. Yeah. Yeah. Best tip for long term progress, success in powerlifting? Take your or time. Lifting, or Olympic lifting. Patience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Patience. Time. Strength is a journey, not a destination. Yeah. Because it'll be, never be enough. You'll never be as strong enough. That's a good quote. Strength is a journey, not a destination. Do you think anyone's ever said that before? No. So. <laughs> Google it after. And then, and then copyright it. It's like <laughs> Google it later. Um, I think you guys are spot on as well. Um, I think that um, once you can really understand what the goal is and what the outcome is obviously about, we can obviously plan around that and, uh, and, and structure it yeah. so that we can be successful. So I think that's the most important thing is having... having um, structure around how you can attain that, that outcome uh, daily it's compounding strength from block to block mm-hmm. without any trip ups so mm-hmm. that includes obviously injury and being able to manager. flex and have yeah. the right people around you yeah. mentors and yep. things like that to be able to put you in a position where you continue to go forward if you do have the stuff ups injuries mm-hmm. or yeah. whatever it may be it's part of the sport it is part of the sport yeah, life. yeah it's part of life 
Um, yeah. Next 12 months got in store for... What's the, what have you got in store for the next 12 months? Whew, there's a lot of things going on at the moment. I yeah, just, you've got um, big moves coming. Massive, massive. So I've been running a personal training studio for the last 12 years with a business partner. So that's come to an end. It was a mutual decision, so I'm taking over restructuring. So that's been occupying me for the last week or so. It's pretty exciting what the future holds. Mm. So we're located in South Bank, in the basement. New company name is called Underground Tribe. Cool. We specialize in not just corporate, but predominantly corporate health yeah. and wellness yeah. through strength, health, and wellness structured programs. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So Hell yeah. that's exciting, exciting. That's huge. Yeah. Anything in Cairo as well? Uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm also yeah. a student in chiropractic, so three and a half years in, so another two and a half to go. So once I'm a qualified doctor of chiropractic, I'll move into that field and try to incorporate both, specializing in treating strength athletes. That's so good. So that'll be fun. M me? Um, well, I run the Muscle Lab, which is a remedial massage business. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I would like to continue building that uh also along with studying osteo i'm also three and a half years in um and just continue working at that that's what the goal is for the next 12 months grow it i think grow it i mm. think grow it um put out more content to help more people um be pain-free and lift happy <laughs> that's where it's at it's and content get stronger it's content you can pump out content G? Um, I am in the process of starting my own brokerage firm, um, nice. which is um, pretty news cool. to me. This is yeah. what happens when you're on a walk in the morning. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. We sat on the goss. <laughs> yeah. So, brokerage firm, I've been talking to mates who um, own brokerages and been getting some feedback from them. Nice, and, man. Um, Congrats. It's very, it's a lot of work. So. I'll get to that once I want to get to that in the next couple of months. I already had people coming to me for um, to write stuff for them, so I'm like, oh, maybe I can do this. So, yeah, of course you can. can. Yeah. So that um, from from the non finance side of things is um, I need to finish uh, the book that I was writing mm. um, and continue to grow myself as a uh, content content creator and athlete. Nice. What's yeah, the book you're writing for those that don't know? Um, I really wish I had a really cool answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, at the moment, it's just essentially just a depiction of stories and making it um, relatable to um, everyday life. Like Beautiful. They have a really cool so like sales a, Would pitch. you say it's an autobiography? Some of it, yes. Yeah. It's yeah. autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> Short it's autobiography. Yes. I actually wrote a prologue to be able to, um, if I was to ask that question, to be able to then articulate it and communicate it, and I completely don't remember what I found right. So have you got it on your phone? No, it's on the computer. That, the it. one that I broke. Oh, it. Put on oh no, I, it's the one I sent to you guys. Yeah. Yes. The one I broke. I hope that answers your question, Izzy. And mm. let's go. What's the band for? Oh, fuck. Let's maybe answer that next. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole next that's different a whole, episode. Yeah. 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 Can you please ask Demir why he doesn't keep his promises to his friends? What promises have you not been keeping? Yeah. Did you two write this in? No. no. I don't make promises. I don't make promises that I can't keep. Whoa. 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 Well, whoever it is, I apologise for not keeping the promises. <laughs> I think, uh, initials, no. initials start with A, D. Oh, yes. Well, AD. I'm not going to get into this. That's okay. AD. Has, I'm sorry. Has Just a, say I'm sorry. Just say I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get my hoodie off AD for. You got it though, didn't you? No. Oh, no. I thought oh, it was the shirt that you were wearing. It was the shirt. Okay. So he was meant to have a hoodie. I was one of the first ones to tell him to put a hoodie aside. So when everyone started posting about their hoodies, mm. I was like, "Hey, bro." Where's my, Where's my hoodie? It's like, what are you talking about? I didn't get you one. You were joking. You'd never asked for one. AD. Wow. You're better than that. But, -T -T. but I had a conversation <laughs> screenshot already pre, oh, pre planned. And I'm like, really? So I sent him this. And he's like, oh, let that, me check. That hoodie. <laughs> it's like, I actually had a look and there is one for you. I just didn't add it to my Excel spreadsheet. So 
We caught up for coffees yesterday, actually, and he conveniently forgot it again. Oh. <laughs> and then I was outside of his house this morning, oh grabbing a coffee. I'm like, hey, man, if you're home, I'll come out for a coffee. I'll grab a hoodie. And then he replies like, oh, I just left. I'm like, I feel like you don't want me to wear your hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Look, to be honest, that's what he wrote. Or she wrote. AD. I'm not going to disclose exactly who it is. Mm. And I think we'll leave it at that. Done. It'll end on that. <laughs>